Hello, hello everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today, whether you're here live or after the fact. I am Sophia with Garden State Film Festival. I'm super happy because this year is our 22nd year. Uh, New Jersey's first indie premiere festival. We are back 22 years. This year we have 200 films, over 200 films from 14 different countries, all various topics, all different lengths, different types of films. Super amazing lineup this year, guys. I've had the pleasure to see a lot of these amazing films films and interview a lot of these amazing filmmakers. And today I am back interviewing another amazing filmmaker, Tom Proceda. He is the director and producer of the short film called My Dear Aunt Sally. Tom, thank you for joining me today and congratulations on your acceptance. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure I get to talk to you today. I'm really excited to hear about you and the filming process and just the inspiration and, and all the great stuff. Uh, but first, tell us tell us a little bit about you, please. Um, I've been an actor for a long time and I got into filmmaking about six years ago, maybe seven. And um, it's been a great journey. I kind of use some of my, uh, you know, on set experiences as an actor to kind of help guide me as a director as well. Um, and I've I really enjoyed it. I especially this particular production. Amazing. I I love uh, actors who are directors. I think that they have just a way of of knowing and working with the actors and storytelling. It's just it. I, I'm a really huge fan of actors who are directors as well. So so very cool. Uh, can you tell us about my dear Aunt Sally? What's what's your film about? It's about a boy, a young boy who's uh, you know has a lot of shyness. He's uh, uh, very introverted. And he has an aunt who is quite the opposite and very free spirited young woman who brings him out of his shell. And then at the end, there's a twist. Amazing. Yeah. Nice little synopsis about giving anything away. Love right. it. Um, can you, what was the inspiration for, for writing this? Well, I know you didn't write it. So Heather Kennedy wrote this, right? Yes, uh, a brilliant writer. I, I read the script um, quite some time ago. She put it in front of me and I loved it. I was in the middle of a production um, but and to answer your question, yeah, I, I I almost immediately identified with it because my own father was a very shy, introverted child, and he had an aunt who, at her in in those days, was also very um, um, open-minded, I guess you could say, and helped shaped him to become the man that he ultimately be became. So immediately, I I could, almost immediately I could identify with the story. Yeah, after reading your bio and reading that, I was a little surprised to see that you didn't write it because it's it seemed very personal to you. But how amazing that Heather wrote this script that that was just easy for to, for you to pull some relatability to. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had written. <laughs> I <Yeah>. wish I had. <laughs> but you did direct this and produce this, so so pretty close. What made you? Uh, so I know you you really resonated with the story, but what made you think that okay, I, I want to direct this? Have you ever directed something like this before? Um, like what made what attracted you to directing this? It was a challenge because most of my stuff, well, actually all the stuff that I've directed, I've written. And this was the first uh, project where I didn't write it. And, you know, I, I'll say that we made a few changes to it, a couple of adjustments, but really the story is a gem the way it was written. And I have to give Heather all, uh, Heather all the credit on that, on the story itself. Um, it was a challenge to do that though, because I felt like it's kind of like watching someone else's baby. You know, you're even more careful than your own, you know what I mean? To do yeah. it right. Yeah. Right. So how was it, did you work with Heather to make sure you were directing it correctly or just she kind of just handed off to you and it was your, it was a little like your baby now? <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny. She gave me a lot of autonomy and, I, and I, I requested that because it's just how many, too many cooks is not a good thing. But I did, she was on the set with us. She was also working, you know, different uh, uh, jobs on the set. And I never felt uncomfortable going to her and asking her for some clarification if, if need be. But most of that was done before we even got to production, just clarifying exactly, telling her what I think is happening specifically. And she said, yes, this or that's possible. We we certainly collaborated on, I wasn't afraid of that to do it. Amazing. And have you yeah. ever worked with Heather before? I know you also both produced this, right? Yeah, she was co-producer and we had worked together on some smaller projects. Um, uh, I, I was the actor, she was the writer, but uh, not exactly producer, producer before. Mm. Yeah. What went into producing this? Did you guys have any unforeseen challenges? What was really important when producing? I wouldn't say unforeseen, but but <laughs> lo locations got a little wonky. But it, you know, we worked through it. That was yeah. the biggest challenge was our locations, getting them getting them locked down. Um, and of course, you know, the first hurdle that I saw was you know hiring or, or, or casting 
uh, a young boy who could play the lead. Um, yeah. But finding that much skill in a, in a young actor, and we were very fortunate to find him. Love that you brought that up because definitely is, is one of the big questions I have is finding this cast and in particular uh, Brody, who mm -hmm. Stowers or Stowers, mm -hmm. uh, who plays Luke, who, who's amazing young actor. Yeah, how did you find Brody? And then also Chelsea Lane, who plays the Aunt Sally, who was phenomenal as well. How did you find this cast? I just put out a casting call. You know, uh, worked 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 with a casting director, a friend of mine, and we put out a casting call, and we had you know video submissions, and then we kind of went through them and. Ironically, the young man who plays uh, Luke Brody um, lives in my same little neighborhood. I mean, maybe five miles away. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of serendipity. And he was absolutely amazing. And once we saw him, we knew that's the guy. That's that's the guy we want. Yeah. And so I went through, you know, watched the other auditions for the roles for the other roles. And we just we had a pretty good choice um, yeah. for the rest of the roles. Yeah. Yeah, and and the entire cast was great, but but the the actors who play Luke and Sally, so much of it relies on them and their relationship and their chemistry, and it was just, it was phenomenal. What was it like directing this? What was important when when for you when directing these actors and when directing just my dear Aunt Sally? What was crucial telling the story? It was awful. No, it was it was, <laughs> it was um, I think that he is probably the best actor I've ever worked with at any age, honestly. Wow. Um, and she was, and she had a very critical role because so easily it, if she wasn't at his level, it would have been, you know, um, it just would have been less so. And she was amazing as well. And she just seemed so authentic, just, just as much as he was. Mm -hmm. And I looked for that when I cast people as their authenticity and what they're doing. And um, I, I, casting is so critical. If you've ever made a film, you probably know this. And um you know, I, I don't like the set to be an acting class, but we certainly can talk about it before, you know, pre-production. We can have conversations. And but I mean, they were 85 percent already there the moment I saw them at the audition or saw their audition tapes. Mm -hmm. And so it was just it was just making fine adjustments. And it, it was there really wasn't any problems. They just wow. they just delivered. They, they, they delivered for sure. They definitely did. Um, how you. long did it take for you guys to make My Dear Aunt Sally? How long did the filming process take? Well, the, just shooting, it was three days. The shooting okay. end of it, yeah, yeah. And then and then in total, when, when did this, when did the story first come about? And then when did you guys ra uh, like finish post-production? Yeah, wow, so we, um, we actually, I actually read the story right before COVID mm. and um, I read it. And I was in the middle of another production. I wrapped that up, or at least I wrapped up the production and got into pre uh, post-production. And then COVID hit. So we were kind of stuck. We couldn't really do anything. And we waited probably almost two years to do anything. Um, and because we were dealing with a young boy, I didn't want to expose, risk his, you know, situation. So um, we shot it late at the end of 21 and then probably got through post the middle of 22, but then we kept making, I just kept fiddling with it and someone had to smack me with a ruler and say, okay, you're done. You're done. So we, I kept yeah. fiddling with it probably till early 2023, just really tweaking it. And um, yeah, so it just kind of got stretched out. It really got stretched. I don't usually take that long, but COVID really kind of messed things up for me and, and a lot of people too, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. But I'm so happy to hear that it didn't stop stop anything. You guys still got to that finish line and, and made the right. Film. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So, I mean, you you guys successfully made this film, you directed and produced it. What would you say, um, what's some advice you can give to other filmmakers or even that you'll take with you in your next production that that made this a successful uh, production and a, and a finished production? That's a great question. I, I think I'd probably say for any production, you just, you have to get around the right people, um, the cast, the crew, and also make sure the people back home are happy. And, and if you've got all three of those things in a really good story, you're probably going to be something that's really going to matter. I, I believe that. Speaking of something that really that really matters, my dear Aunt Sally, it, it obviously matters. What are you hoping audiences, not just at Garden State Film Festival, but our Garden State Film Festival audience or audiences in general watching this film, what are you hoping they walk away with? Maybe that everyone needs an Aunt Sally, perhaps. Yeah. And, and I hope we, I hope we all have one somewhere in our lives. Yeah, I love that. And if you're, and if not, hopefully that you can channel some of my dear aunt, the aunt Sally that we see be a little bit more fun and adventurous. 
I or, or, or become a net satellite, or become a yeah. net satellite, or, yeah. or a Mr. Satellite. Maybe a Mr. Yeah. Or, you know, it could be a guy. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I'm an aunt myself, and I would like to say that I am um, have some Aunt Sally in me. So, so I love that. <laughs> awesome. Um, Tom, I, I mean, obviously, this isn't the first thing you directed, but do you think that this story, especially because it's so close to you, was it was it very different for you than than other stories you told in the past? Like, what did this mean to you? Yeah, I. Um, it's funny how you know I didn't write the story, but I, I like I said, I wish I had. But I was very connected to it, and um, I'm from for myself. Uh, I it's it's my favorite production that I've worked on as a director. Yeah. I can say that. That's amazing. Yeah. I love that. It must have made the process so much more fulfilling and, and fun and, and meaningful to you. Yes, and, and at the same time, um, it also made it kept me up at night because I didn't want to leave any stone unturned. I did not want yeah. to uh, you know, just say, okay, that's good enough. Uh -huh. Especially when we were in post production. I wanted to make yeah. it shine as much as we possibly could. So uh, there were a lot of late nights, early mornings, just, just to get it just right. I, like I mentioned, it, it just kind of, someone had to smack me. Okay, you're done. It's finished. Yeah. You know, let's move. I just wanted to get it right. Because because once you do this, you can't go back five years from now and fix it. It's done. Right. You could reshoot it, I suppose, but it'd be a completely different production. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how, how does it feel having it at Garden State Film Festival? Are you familiar with this film festival at all? Have you, have you been here before? No, I haven't, but I know a lot about it. I heard about it at another festival that I was at. And... Um, I, I'm a, I'm just don't know the right word. Grateful, extremely grateful to be talking to you, to be part of this festival. I, I, I have every intention on on being there as well. Oh, amazing. I made, I I mean, made plans. This, I'm so excited that you're going to be there. I'm so excited for uh, it to have this in this lineup and for people to see my dear Aunt Sally. Garcia Film Festival. I'm, you're, I'm, I know you're going to love it. The first time you're there, great community. It's like a family. People love networking. There's a Meet the Filmmakers night on Thursday. We have the gala on Friday that we see our first uh, feature film. And then there's screenings and parties. And every after every screening, there's a Q&A. So it has so much to offer this film festival. And I, I, I love <laughs> the chance to meet filmmakers like yourself. So I'm really happy you get to be there in person and, and see it for the first time. Congratulations again to you and everyone involved making this film. Let me tell everyone watching how they can see My Dear Aunt Sally. It will be screening Sunday, March 24th. The film block starts at 1215 at Berkeley Hotel. Definitely come check it out. Get your, get your tickets at gsff.org slash tickets. You could also see some tickets to the other things I just mentioned. And um, we'll be having a 50-50 raffle. There'll be lots of great stuff this year. So come check it out. Tom, thank you again and congratulations. And it's, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll see you at the festival. Okay, I'll be there. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.